Sometimes when I'm working with Google Forms and Google Sheets, I need my data to show up in colors so that I can see things visually and organized graphically. Like this, or even like this. That's called conditional formatting and it's real simple to do. And if it's something you're looking for, stay tuned and check out this tech tip in two minutes. Hey friends, I'm Tabaldo on Tech, AKA the paperless professor, and I'm a doctoral student. And on this channel, I share tech tips, resources, reviews for teachers, students, or folks just like you who want to be paperless or just learn more about ed tech. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're a returning friend, thanks for coming back. Let's get to it. Okay, let's jump right into it. So you have a Google form that you're probably using as a quiz and it might look something like this. This is just an example. So we have different multiple choice or selection slides in this Google form. Make sure that it's set to quizzes where it will grade. This will definitely help if you wanna do some auto grading. And then we have immediately alert after submission and show missed questions. This is what it looks like from the user perspective. So if you're a student, here are your choices. And then you can, we have the student enter the name, but you can collect that from your Google database and they can select from the list. So let's say they choose number one is hibernate, number two is earmuff and so on. Then they would hit submit. It would then gather in a Google sheet. So you click on responses and then you would click on that Google sheet. So when we click on the Google sheet, it might look something like this. So let's say I want all of the correct answers to be in green, like I have here in column D. In order to get that, I need to highlight the column and then I go into format. I know the right answer for number two is coat. So I'm gonna select conditional formatting and I'm gonna change it to say, when the text is the word coat, I want it to be green. Now I can see that everyone who did the word coat for slide two is correct and it's green. And I can also see who missed it. Now I can say, if you did not put the word coat in there, I want it to be red. So if it does not contain the word coat, I change the color to be red. And then I can see who got it wrong. That just makes it really, really easy for me to see right answers, wrong answers. If everyone got something wrong, then maybe I need to relook at that question. But I can also really quickly see across the board where people either left it blank or just got the wrong answer. Just take a look at all the different options you can do in these formulas. You can have texts in the formula, you can have data in the formula, you can tell it whether it's less than or greater than or equal to, and you can even make a custom formula. Those are all the things that you can make rules out of, which is pretty robust. You can even do a custom rule. The other thing I wanna show you is what you can actually do when it, when it comes to the fonts and what you can do. You can do strikeout, you can do bold, italic, you can change the font color and you can change the cell color. So you have a lot of options there in the formatting of what you're telling the actual cell or what's in the cell to do based on what the condition is. I'm interrupting this video just for a minute to ask you to subscribe if you like this content, hit the thumbs up button and share it with a friend. It really helps me out. Thanks so much. One last thing I want to show you is over here in this color scale section, you can see that I'm able to select a minimum and a maximum number numerical value, and then I can color scale. This might be really good for you if you're looking at low, medium, high as a teacher and you want to find out kids that mastered the concept or didn't master the concept. And here's an example of what that might look like. So that is conditional formatting. I hope this tech tip in two minutes was helpful. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, so you won't miss any of the ed tech tips in the coming videos. Feel free to check out the My Tech Tool Belt podcast. It's a podcast where we hear from teachers who innovate, engage, and inspire using technology in their classrooms. I'll put a link in the description below. And check out my other tech tip in two minute videos, and I'll see you again in the next one. In the meantime, keep moving forward, friends.